Rick says, I've Googled this and still can't find it. Well, give up, Rick. I mean, come on. Uh, we're, we're Google V2, man. This have is, Yeah, have you tried the new Bing? I mean, come on. Yeah, you can Bing it, see if you get a different answer. Uh, does anyone know how to apply to read-only permissions for one person to a shared mailbox? You know, I'd love to say that there is such a thing. I've never come across it. Um, we are really talking about three permission models within a mailbox. Uh, you've got full access. Um, that means you can do anything you want, creating uh, calendar uh, invites, um, events, as well as email. Um, but then you've got kind of the other two, which are really more for uh, delegated access. So you can send as. Um, really letting a, a user impersonate someone and then send on behalf, which that's usually a very administrative common scenario. I'm sending on behalf of this executive a communication they wanted me to draft up. So it looks like it's coming from them. However, um, you have control over creating that. So in all of my experience, and I'm, I'm pretty sure the question is geared towards Outlook, um, I'm I, I assume it's Outlook that you're looking for that. That permission model uh, just does not exist today. I don't know if anybody has any other comments on that. Um, you know, the, the qu quickest way, um, I guess, would be um, the to really, uh, not the quickest way, but I think the question is, why? Why do you want them to have read access as opposed yeah. to send on behalf? Like, where do you think that the permission model is falling short um, from what the true intention that you're trying to accomplish is? Well, it goes against the shared mailbox concept. Um, and I don't, I, I'm going to bring this up, but you remember, I mean, this is like uh, not too long ago when exchange on prem was the big deal and people weren't really going into the cloud yet um, up to the, the online exchange. Um, but shared mailboxes were taboo. They were like, we don't, you don't do anything with shared mailboxes. They're evil. It's kind of like, remember the uh, public folder uh, type thing. Um, and now it seems like, you know, it, it's an okay thing to do again. Uh, but when you think about it, they're still using the same technology, the same permission structure they had when it was Exchange on-prem back many, many years ago. So not a lot has changed uh, from a permission standpoint, of, you know, what you're talking about, so. Right. Well, Mike, you know, sharing is caring, so. Yes, it is. <laughs>